Welcome to our channel, ladies and gentlemen. Over the years, caricatures or rather cartoons have always been used to capture a moment, a prevailing political moment that is going on in the country, the prevailing political circumstances. Or they have always also been used to paint a picture of a character of a particular leader. You remember, even in school and college, people used to describe characters, teachers and lecturers. For those who have been reading newspapers over the years, I remember there was a time when people like Gado and Kam used to give us real caricatures, cartoons that would paint a moment, that would paint a picture of a bout of, of, of a, a character. People like Moi, Bewart, they used to describe them. But things have emerged and technology is also evolving. And today, social media has become the platform where moments are captured, characters and traits of our particular politicians are always being portrayed there. Today, there are a lot that is going on in the country. And William Ruto is being described, and when you look at the description of Kenyans about William Sumai Ruto, from young, you know, generation, the young pupils, when you ask them something about William Sumai Ruto, William Ruto has given them a character that can only be summarized into two. Many people, if you ask them, they will tell you that William Ruto is a liar. They believe that William Ruto is very dishonest. And number two, there is an element of corruption within William Ruto's government. Now, regarding the Adani deal that has been shrouded in obscurity, uncertainty, and opaqueness, comedians have gone ahead to create moments of, of, of a sensation just to try and describe what might have happened. And when you look at what is happening, you'll realize that William Ruto is not a very lucky man because as a president of the nation, he needs to cultivate a culture or a character that people would enjoy. I want to show you this comedy about a comedian, Yugush, and another comedian talking about the Adani deal summarizing it how they thought it came about because it has been described and when you look at it it all boils down to some facts that we are going to lose money and some people are making a kill out of you know hard earned taxpayers money and then another one of uh, promises that are you know enshrined in blatant lies because they believe that Kenyans are very gullible. I want you to look for yourself and tell me the mood that has been captured there, the moment that has been captured there, and the real character of our president. Take a look. Sasa madam, hizi ni sufuria gani unapika nazo? Ai. Airport mmegeuza ya maji. Una airport nyingine ina parking tu na hewa. Airport mzee ni ya nini port mzee? Sina serve papa, sina pika. No, tuko na mpango tunaweza kuletea airport mpya. Uweze kutumia hii airport mzee. Iko na pressure inapika vizuri, inapika haraka. Wageni wakikuja wanasema wow. What an air. Unaona ju inatumia air. It is uses air as pressure. So inapika haraka. Na, na ni kitu kidogo sana utatoa. Tuta tutasikizana saa hii, tutaandikia na contract ya 30 years. Alafu baadaye forever mkipika tunachukua kitu kidogo. Kama ni gedhali tunachota kidogo. Kama ni ugali tunachota kidogo. Eh. Sio na sasa. Sasa hii pot unaona vile ni mzee. Hii ni mzee hata inaweza utapata imetoboka huku chini unaweka nini madondo. Hata inamwaganga maji hiyo baby. Eh, unaweka madombo, madombo, madondo ina inalalamika juu imetoboka. So wewe fikiria vile tunaweza nini ya pot mpya na watu wa familia si lazima. Jo tunamaliza hapa inakuwa a done did deal. It is a done deal. Tunamaliza hapa wewe wewe unapikia watu wanafurahia. Wageni wakikuja wanafurahia. Lakini sasa niko na shida zingine kubwa kuliko hiyo pot mpya. Ai. Si ndio sasa hata watoto huko ndani hawana chakula. 
Ai. Eh, sasa badala ya hii kwanza si naweza ngoja. Au oh, utafuta chakula. Eh, si kwanza ulishughulikia vitu vingine zinanisumbua sana saa hii. Ah, wewe chukua hii. Hii bado inapika hata saa hii kimwaga tu. Wewe wacha hii tukatupe hii. It's bad. It's bad. Yeah. Tutafute kengine. Unasikia hata hiyo makerele? Wageni wakikija sasa wanaonanga aje. Tuliate poto mpya inatumia air. Airport tunaleta airport inatumia air pressure kupika. Hiyo wageni nao watakusifu. Na unajua umeanza kutembea na marafiki wa nje sasa watakuona aje. Wewe leta hiyo tufanye dandin. Alafu familia ikilalamika wewe ukue umenisoto. Wewe nitengeneze familia ikilalamika wewe ukue umenitengeneza. Mm. Tafadhali eh. Yeah. I'm waiting. Hapa hii space unaona in the next three weeks. Nataka niweke Indian Ocean lakini ya Nairobi. Unajua Mombasa ni city na iko na Indian Ocean. Sasa Nairobi ndo nataka iko na next Indian Ocean. Si unaona nimeanza kuleta maji. Hii ni maji nishaleta. Kitu imebaki sasa ni ocean. Ye ikae hii side na hii side. Sasa unajua wewe mtu kama mtu mwenye anataka kuona China kuleta vitu analetea na hapo Nairobi analeta na Nairobi Indian Ocean. Hiyo ni kitu inawezekana. Najua nyinyi mnaona ni kama ni uongo. Lakini hata ukiuliza watu tunafanya nao kazi Indian Ocean inaweza kuja Nairobi kupitia serikali yangu tunaweza kuwa tunaleta vitu kutoka China na Indian Ocean ya Nairobi. Na hii morala asione. Hii morala usione hii. Hii na lakini hii wameamini. Twende tuka launch nyingine sasa kwa msitu. Twende tuka launch. How many of you watching this video would be glad to refer Ruto as a role model to their children. How many of you? I'm asking this because there are standards that are expected of a leader in the caliber of William Samoei Ruto. How many of you? And do you think William Ruto meets the standard of a leader that can be, be referred or can be recommended as a role model? It is difficult because many people feel that William Ruto can be associated with the dishonesty dishonesty before during and after election he promised a lot he promised things that he knows very well cannot be implemented blatant without no apology in certain circumstances we have seen william ruto quoting bible verses that are neither here nor there because william ruto believes that kenyans are gullible you know the presidency, that office, is a very prestigious and a very special office. It is usually referred to as a, a, a symbol of national unity. A president is such a person that should be looked at. When you look at him, he should be a man that unifies a nation. Not unity by picking a few people and incorporating them into the government. It is unity in terms of your speeches and actions and even appointments. It is expected of you that immediately after elections, you will, you know, make appointments that reflect the image of the nation. Does William Ruto do that? No. Is he a symbol of national unity? No. And this tells you that William Ruto has got it wrong because he is supposed to be looked at by many, many generation to come who look at him and say that this is a man of integrity william ruto's government is full of integrity you know cases we have seen people who are being picked from jail just because they are reading from the same page as the government it does not uh, you know it does not obey court orders in the danny deal you know people are just trying to show william ruto that we know who you are we know how this deal was procured and they are doing it in a very comical way but it is one that can anger any government official. People know him and this should be an eye opener that as we approach 2027 20, elections it is not going to be business as usual because the very youths who are hoodwinked, the very youths who are used or should I say misused are the people are now turning back and TikTok and in fact, the whole of social media is where revolution is going to come from. Because this generation is using every method available at their disposal to describe William Samuel Ruto. It started even with before Morara Kibasu. People are mimicking William Ruto and they're mimicking him in a negative way just to show that he's full of lies. Today, 
I've seen people compose songs. Hakuna muongo kama ruto, things like that. Sometimes they say that uh, God is good, I don't know, ruto lies all the time, ruto lies. He's a man who has been given names. He's a man who has been portrayed in a negative way. And you see, you know what? For people to give you a trait, they must have watched you for a certain period. They must have waited for you to promise and they see whether any promises are, are, are being implemented or coming, coming through. And they have concluded on one accord that William Ruto is dishonest, that William Ruto is a liar, and he would promise everything. Come 2027, it is going to be very difficult for him because people are going to scrutinize his statements, people are going to remind him of, of, of what he promised before, and it is going to be a challenging ta task. If there is one person who is facing what I might call staring at a defeat, it might be William Samuel Ruto. Just like he made history as the first person who has never lost an election, I understand that from 1997 when he, when he co contested as Eldritch North Member of Parliament, to date he has never made a mistake. Any time he supports uh, a cause, it must survive. But this time round, this history can also be broken. That is the first president to be elected just once because people are very tired. What is your take on Ruto's character and how people are trying to portray him?